and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I am in my stamp pad. Um, some things have changed in my stamp room and so I thought I would do an updated video just showcasing some of the new things um, that I have done and how it is set up and how it works for me. I know I love seeing what other people are doing for their uh, stamp rooms or craft rooms um, to get little tips and tricks or organizing ideas and stuff. So I thought I would share you, um, share with you my video of my room. So we're going to kind of do this in a couple different sections of the room and then at the end I'll do like a full pan of the whole room so that you can kind of get some ideas on how that looks. So first we're going to get started with um, the fact that I have a kitchen table now. So with the kitchen table, I used to have like a little bitty desk that was super small space, um, but now I have this awesome huge kitchen table. So I have a huge workspace um, so that I can't make big messes is pretty much what it comes down to. Um, but I have tons of room to be able to um, get out all my goodies and reach for things and I'm not like falling off the edge or anything. So that is the biggest change that I went from a small little desk to a giant kitchen table. And this actually has another leaf in it, um, but we didn't put it in it because it kind of makes the room a little bit cramped. But whenever I have others come over and stamp with me, then we can always increase that out and have a lot more room for stamping fun. So one of the other tips that I have to say um, with my stamp craft room is I like things to be within reach. So I had to, like, even though I didn't have the desk with all the drawers and everything, I still wanted everything to be very close to me so that I can sit here and just reach in different directions so that I can work on my projects and I'm not getting up and getting down and looking for things. So a lot of the stuff that I use for the most time is a right here behind me in this cabinet, which this cabinet I really would like to find something that might work a little bit better, but um, stay tuned. I'll just do another video once that comes around because I haven't quite found the perfect piece for that. And if you have any ideas or tips or tricks, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll check those out um, as I'm looking for something um, to replace that cabinet. So a lot of my tools are right here um, for me to be able to reach and now now we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this cabinet here and throughout the entire room. So um, let's get started. Okay, so this is the cabinet that's closest to me whenever I'm stamping, so it has all of my necessary items in it. In the bottom drawer down here, I have all my holiday stamp sets. So those are kind of going to be, because they all don't fit in the next drawer up, um, and I won't be using them as much. So those right now are just my holiday stamp sets, um, and they're sort of paired out. Uh, as we move into the Occasions mini catalog and celebration with the beginning of the year. <sighs> so excited about that. Then I might have to um, move some stamp sets around and figure out which ones I want up and which ones I want in the regular drawer. So we'll see how that goes. And that's why I want something that fits everything. Um, so still looking for that piece. The other thing is, is I have a whole bunch of little cellophane bags that hold um, all of my specialty papers. My designer series paper, my red glimmer paper, my silver glimmer paper, gold glimmer paper, foil papers, all of those. It's just the scraps. So it's all the little leftover pieces. That's where I go first whenever I'm looking for a piece. And then if there um, isn't a piece big enough, then I will go over to the other side of the room into one of the drawers and get out a full pack. So that's the bottom drawer. This drawer here has all stamp sets in it, so it's completely loaded with stamp sets um, that are, again, within reach so that I can just grab them and go. And now up to the middle section here. So this is all of my cardstock. I recently got these um, from Ikea. I love, love, love them. They are so much sturdier than the old plastic ones that I had and I have more options. So before I pretty much had one drawer per color family and now I have um, like three-ish on some of the colors uh, levels for the color family. So I just kind of have it split up into like pretty much like boy colors and girl colors. So in that color family I have like the blues and greens on one shelf and the pinks and purples on another one and the yellows and oranges on another one. Um, so that's kind of how it goes and I labeled everything so it all says you know brights collection, the Subtles collection, it's down there as well, uh, Regals, In Colors, then I have my white and my vanilla and my neutrals, and then the little box over here is all of my scraps. So again, those are all just in a cellophane um, baggie. So you can see they're all little cellophane baggies full of all kinds of scraps and everything there. I also have my white and vanilla in baggies, and then the last 
two wooden stamp sets I own um, are in that drawer as well um, because they don't really fit in the other drawer and I only have two so it works. There's some of my favorites. It's uh, Thoughts and Prayers and Teeny Tiny Wishes. So love, love, love those. So then um, moving up to the top, I have that. Uh, the very top drawer is just kind of miscellaneous. There really isn't a, um, a keyword that I could label with that one, but maybe I'll eventually find something better to go in there with a label. All my washi tape, all my pearls and rhinestones, those little um, boxes there, those are actually shoe boxes. So I got that tip from um, another blogger that I was checking out, her craft room. She does a lot of sewing too. Um, and she uses those. She got them from Target. They are super fabulous. They're like 88 cents. So definitely reasonable to have a million in the craft room and um, and they're not really going away because they're not like a fad craft room you know sort of thing they're just a general shoebox for storage so they have the nice little white lid so you can keep pretty um, basic with your colors and then you can always add color if you wanted to decorate them or anything like that they stack really well and they just have all my ribbons in there so you can see all the ribbons are in there. The top one is mostly ribbon. Um, the bottom one has uh, extra ribbon as well as um, different uh, rolls of the baker's twine and silver metallic thread and stuff like that. I have extra ribbons back up in there. And then these are my little enamel shapes in this cute little box. This is called Really Useful Box. Um, I got it uh, many years ago and so I pulled it out and thought it would be perfect for all my little enamel shapes. So I have all the little enamel shapes in there um, with little dividers and everything so that you can see uh, which color family they're in. And so I just have that little box sitting up there as well as there's a little mason jar with extra needles and threads and stuff um, whenever I'm doing like paper piercing or anything like that. So that is uh, this entire case here. So let's move over to the top of my table next. Okay, so this is where I'm normally sitting whenever I'm crafting. Um, of course, there's a chair on the other side of the table too, so sometimes when this gets a little too messy or I start a different project in the midst of a project, then I'll move over to that side of the table and start working over there and making a mess over there too. But again, everything is within reach. We just got done with the cabinet right here. Um, my Stampin' Trimmer is um, always like right on the floor actually leaned up against. Uh, this piece here so um, that's always down there so again it's within reach and then here we have everything on my table here's all my ink pads in the um, the Stampin' Caddy so I can just rotate that around there's enough room for it to rotate around here in this corner on top here I have um, some of the fine tip glue pen as well as some of the um, re-inkers for the ink pads they're mostly like the in colors and stuff like that the main colors I actually have in little boxes and they're over um, on the other side of the room kind of stowed away in a spot that um, I don't need to get into all the time. So I just have a few up top there and sometimes, you know, whenever I use one I'll pull it out. Here I have my stamping cleaners and the cleaning mist is in this little box here. I also have my little name that goes on the back of all of my projects. So that stays, it's always on this clear block. Um, I've just decided it's best to just keep it on a block at all times. So it's kind of there in the in the corner. Um, and then this again is another one of those fabulous shoe boxes. So it actually has all of my clear blocks in it. So all my clear blocks as well as the hashtag I'm bringing birthdays back stamp um, that I like to stamp on all my birthday stuff. So those are all in there and of course I have the little label on there. I love the little labels. They just make things so fabulous. Not that I don't know where um, to find stuff in my room but I just like that it just labels everything and it pulls it all together and makes it look so fun. And of course then if anyone were to come over and stamp with me it would be easy for them to find things as well. Or whenever I ask my husband to go get me something then I can say it's got the label on it. So in this little box here, this is actually um, one of the boxes that all of the um, Big Shot dies were to go into. So it was one of the storage boxes. So I ended up putting everything that was in the drawers of my desk into this box whenever I was moving things around and it actually kind of works. It slides around on the table so that's good whenever I need to like reach in and look at something. Um, but it has um, a couple of mugs in it. So these are just regular like coffee mugs that were in our um, in our kitchen set. So I have three of those mugs in there. This one kind of just has um, 
forks for fork bows, so don't get too confused about why I have forks in my craft room. Um, those are for fork bows. And then some um, different pens, uh, X-Acto knife, pencils, aqua painters, blender pens, Wink of Stella, markers, and then I also have um, my paper snips, scissors, bone folders, and then I have my Stampin' Mist and all my adhesives down in these two sections as well as well as like just some regular scrap paper to take notes on anything like something I need to put on the next order or anything like that. So that all is within reach right here so it's just kind of grab it. It usually ends up staying on the table most of the time and then at the end of the day when I'm cleaning up I toss it all back into there. Then on the far side there, I have um, little caddies. They're actually wire caddies that stack on top of each other, and that's all of my punches. So those are um, mostly the big punches up top, and then they slowly get smaller, and then some of the handheld punches um, and, like, the tag topper punch and stuff like that down there on the far side. I can reach those from my seat if I stand up, but otherwise sometimes I do walk around to go get those. But, again, those usually kind of stay out on my desk. And then whenever I'm done at the end of the day, then they all go back up into there. So next we're going to move over to the far side of the room. That's kind of all of my paper and storage items. Okay, so this is on the other side of the table. You can see I have all of my designer series paper in that top drawer, glimmer paper and foil paper. So I do have to get up to go get that, but that's not a big deal because I can go get that, sit down with it, and then I have all of my supplies. I also have my two sets of markers um, sitting just on the top there. Then over here you can see I have more of those fabulous shoe boxes. So the top box is all of my coloring tools. So that's like my sponge daubers, my sponge brayers, um, any of my spritzers, any of those fun things. Then the bottom one is actually another miscellaneous. So I have my silica gel to do shaker cards. I have um, some tape in there, like painter's tape and, and little containers and stuff um, just in case I need them for projects. I have this fabulous tote over here, which is one of those 12 by 12 totes um, that I super, super love. I use those to put all of my projects in, um, and that has cellophane bags in it. So I use that whenever I'm packaging up stuff for classes or packaging up cards to give away or anything like that. So it's just oodles of different cellophane bags. Moving to the next um, layer of the shelf, I have, there's the fabulous little um, Brother P-Touch um, label maker that I've used to use all of my labels, so super love that. Then I just have some of my um, totes that I use for my weddings. So I do a lot of invitations and stationery for brides and weddings, and so I have some totes over there that have samples and projects in it, or um, one of the upcoming brides that I'm working with, then I put all of her stuff in there while I'm working uh, through her wedding with her. And then um, on the bottom I have samples of, um, like the two totes there on the side, are all my samples for wedding invites and wedding programs and different stationery. And then those are just woven totes that I picked up at Aldi that I super love. I use those to carry things around in or to throw things in whenever I'm, you know, going up and down the stairs or going to uh, somebody's house to stamp with or anything like that. I love those totes. So for the most part, they're usually empty, but sometimes they have like um, my big tablecloth in there or various other things. And then I just have some whiteboards um, with easels on the side there that I use to display some of my projects at craft fairs or card classes or any of those things. Okay, so this is across the room from my desk, which is over there, or the table. And this is this black piece is actually a fabulous new shelf that I got. And I thought I was actually going to put it over on the table and stack stuff on it, but I thought it looked better um, over here, and I needed more space over here for my samples and stuff. So um, on the top right now, I actually have some of the tin of tin of cards kits. So just some of the kits that are up top there, um, those are just kind of in a temporary place, or at least I hope so. We'll see how long they stay there. So then I just have, um, this here is a basket that has um, projects that were leftovers from classes, so there might be two or three different cards in there. Those are where I go to make the cards um, whenever my stash is low, then I go there and pull out some of the past classes and, and use those to make some of the cards that I use myself, as well as a few fabulous samples um, that I've received either from someone or um, that I've made myself that I super love. 
like this one. Oh, I love, love, love that Z Fold card. So these are just some samples of mine. This is a basket full of card samples that are upcoming classes, swap cards, um, anything like that that I grab whenever I go to an event so that I can share different ideas um, using some of the upcoming products. So right now it's kind of empty, but it'll be filling up with occasions, mini catalog stuff, and celebration pro promotion brochure stuff um, because that starts in January. Then this bottom shelf here, I have another basket that has um, a project that I'm working on for swap cards for the Occasions Mini Catalog and Celebration. So this um, becomes lots of different things. Sometimes it has more packets of cards like this one. Sometimes it has more sample cards like this one. Sometimes it remains empty, which is very rarely. Um, and so that's just kind of sitting there. A lot of times it's over at my desk because I'm working out of it, so it just kind of depends. And then this right now, because I am filming this video, it's all nice and clean, but I usually have like projects here or catalogs here. Um, sometimes whenever I'm using my Big Shot, which is right over there, um, then I use this spot here to lay the extra framelits or have all the popped out pieces and everything. So for right now, it's actually perfectly clean and it looks fabulous, but it's normally not clean at all. So now we're going to move down here to the cabinet that this is. And this has all of my um, business supplies in it. So this is the cabinet below, and this just has mostly business supplies in it. My order forms, flyers, catalogs, um, the little green tote there actually has um, lots of just like leftover extra product or retired product that I use um, as little gifts to give out for um, fabulous little promotions like leave a comment down below, so stay tuned. Um, maybe that'll happen for this video. Um, or to any of my hostesses. I also have a tote down there that has cards that I use, so they're my sample cards that I use um, whenever I have an upcoming birthday or something. And then I actually have a silhouette machine at the very bottom that I use for various projects as well. So next we're gonna move over to the shelf right next to this that has all my Big Shot stuff on it. So now this is my Big Shot station. So I have all of my framelits, embossing folders in one of uh, last year's tin of tags. I feel like those tins are like collect them all sort of thing. So I have all my embossing folders in that. All my framelits up top. Here of course is my Big Shot and um, all of the three drawers that are below that. The first drawer has the Big Shot tools like all of the, um, the plates like the precision base plate and the standard cutting plates, the magnetic plate. The next shelf has all of my heat embossing tools, um, the ink refills in the little boxes that I mentioned before as well as hot glue gun, um, wipes and various other tools um, inside there and then the bottom shelf actually has some of my information for um, bridal fairs and brides and different things like that. I've saved some of the retired stamp sets. I normally get rid of um, retired stamp sets but I've saved some of them that I use for different wedding um, projects. I've saved some of those perfect ones and keep them down there in that bottom drawer. So this is like the far side of the room um, that is away from the window and it's probably the furthest away from my desk but it is perfect that I can stand there and use the big shot and, um, and get my projects done. Sometimes I move the big shot over to my desk depending on how much I'm doing. So that is the last piece of my stamp room. So now you've seen my entire stamp room, or Laura's stamp pad, if you will, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you um, have any tips or tricks or organizational ideas that you would like to share with me. I would love to hear them as I love organizational stuff. I'll be posting pictures of this on my website, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. You can subscribe by clicking here, and then you can check out other videos here. So you can check out my tempting techniques, or my other um, haul videos, or even my last stamp room tour. So be sure to check those out. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.